welcome back. My name is Nicole Cena. As you can see, we are about to have us a crawfish mukbang. A crawfish boil mukbang, okay? I haven't done a mukbang in 12 days. Like, feels like I haven't done it in a month of Sundays. So, disclaimer, disclaimer. If you hear rustling, bustling, and see me tussling, it's my five-month-old German Shepherd. Usually, sometimes he'll go sit down when I'm doing this after a little bit when he's relaxing and getting no food. Or he might jump up here and make an appearance and I might have to put him in his crate. I do not want to put him in his crate. But if he act up and get up between me and this good old food, he getting in the crate. But let's say grace and get it in. Amen. So I do have a little cocktail. It's Friday. It's 7.43 almost. It's Tuesday 2020. This is one of my graduation cups. Uh, shout out to my friend Dottie. She gave it to me. It's 7.45 Friday evening. I still might put this out tonight because I just feel like... It's Friday, y'all gonna be up. If you see this on my chin, oh shit, I wonder if that was showing in my, of course it was showing in my thumbnail. But if this is a bruise, it's bruised on the inside as well. I have a pound of crawfish in the medium red juicy combination sauce, two potatoes, corn, and boiled egg. This was only $15. And that was on DoorDash, $15. That was DoorDash, Uber Eats. $15. Um, I put the egg in it myself. But it's only $15. And with the DoorDash fees... Why do I keep saying fucking DoorDash? I don't even use DoorDash. With the... Um, Uber Eats fees and tip. It came out to $25. Won't you do it? Because I do not want to drive to Norfolk. And go get it. And I had just said, like, I ain't doing no more DoorDash. Uber, Uber Eats. And if it was going to be stupid expensive, I wouldn't have done it. How the light look, y'all? Mm, mm, mm. I feel like we about to get interrupted. <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, <clears throat> I got a medium sauce too. Hold on, am I about to get interrupted? I don't know. Okay, sorry. Oh, medium sauce. Let's taste it with a little bit of egg. <clears throat> But it's Friday. Happy Friday. Mm-hmm. Had a good day. Got my hair done. Shout out to my girl, Bernice. It Girl Luxury Studios. Um, If you're here in the 757 or you're just going to be here, um, she slays. Or Bernice did, did my hair on IG. In and out. In and out. Been going to her for years. Literally since I came back to Virginia. She used to work at the $50 weed place. Y'all remember them places where you go to get the $50 sew in? Now, I don't be liking when they get this big ass potato, but I take her. Mmm. 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 That's good. This season is so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh. oh, hair. It's from this cloth that I have on the table. Oh, hell, the medicine for my hair. Why am I already down to half my napkins? Um, what was I saying? Ooh. Oh, I got my nails done yesterday. I got stubbies. Got my hair done today. I'm vlogging, so y'all get to see the behind the scenes if you look at the vlog. Um, But this weekend, tomorrow, we are going to Wine Fest. Mm. Do y'all have those in y'all area? I love them. I love going. 
They have two in this area. Well, they usually have three. So they have one in Chesapeake, they have Norfolk, and they have Virginia Beach. So tomorrow is the Norfolk Wine Fest. One of my friends, y'all see her in the vault tower. She coordinated getting two tables, so it's gonna be like a group of us. Um, she's gonna have tables, she's gonna set it up. Tyra always does the most, so I know it's gonna be nice. Mm. So, a wine fest tomorrow. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees. So, what I wanted to wear. I'm not going to wear it, but I'm definitely shopping my closet and wearing something out of my closet. That's going to be fun. Bay is going to be my plus one. Mm, Y'all, I'm sorry. If the stalking and noise annoys you, I'm sorry. How else do you eat a uh, seafood ball? Mm -hmm. I want another egg. Somebody had wrote on one of my shorts. It usually be people talking crap on the shorts. Talking about just eating like that. Like you ain't got no home training or something. And I put the laughing emoji. I don't know how you quietly eat crawfish. Like, you have to get the stuff out. Like, do y'all see this? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you do that. Oh, yeah. But I didn't tell y'all about the bruise. What is that? Like, why would these little nets come out trying to embarrass me like my house got bugs in it? So, the bruise. Y'all nephew. I was bending down to... I think I was putting... I was trying to close the blinds. Every time I close the blinds, I have to lean over that love seat. And for whatever reason, that rouses him up. He jumps on the love seat. Then he tries to jump on me. No, he knocked the pillows on the floor. So I'm bending down to get the pillow. He up like that. His skull crashes into the bottom of my face. Baby, it knocked the earpiece out of my ear. Speaking of earpiece, why do I have an earpiece in my ear now? It knocked the earpiece out of my ear. Clacked my teeth together. I just knew my I was bleeding and I had lost a tooth. And I was on the phone with my homegirl. She was like, oh my God, are you okay? I heard it. Like, she heard, like, the collision. It hurt so bad. So, now I have this big bruise. And it's also bruised in the inside. But I ain't gonna pull my lip down and show y'all that. But, yeah. Y'all nephew. Do you think he said sorry? He did not. So, I've been walking around like this for the last two days. People probably think I'm getting beat up at home. Lord. And it's the dog. The dog did it. I'm going to put on makeup tomorrow, though. Just because, like, it looked like I skint my chin or something. I don't know. Um. Then when I first, the first day it happened, my face was sore. My mouth was sore. Now, I don't really feel it if I, like, do this. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that was your nephew. But tomorrow wine fest. But before that, I have Jasper had his second training session with the trainer. Why did I say his name? Because now he's right here. Uh, she scheduled it for 10. Well, we scheduled it for 10. So. Hopefully this one goes way better. Well, obviously it should. Because I've been practicing. And incorporate everything she taught us. So. We should go better. Hopefully, he won't be as riled up. We will see. Mm. And do y'all know, Cinco de Mayo is Sunday. Cinco de Mayo don't hit out here like it hit when I was in California, obviously. Mm. 
I don't have any plans. And depending on how tomorrow go, I might be hungover. But what I'm planning for Sunday is to take Jasper to Pet Supply Plus and get and bathe him. Not get him bathed. I'm going to bathe him because, you know, they got the self-service little areas. So I'm going to do that. And then clip his nails. I'm going to get him the doggy common shoes. And make sure he eat them this time. So that should help. Uh, his nails are so sharp. Mm. But. I plan on doing that. I got a workout at Orange Theory. I think I did 1045. So right after the workout, when I'm still in my gym clothes, I'm going to come back, walk him, load him up in the car, and go get, and go wash him. I know I ain't going to want to do nothing after that. And then, Monday, I start my annual training. So, I got to be on base and do all that, y'all, y'all, for the next two weeks. So I'm probably not going to do that Sunday evening. But relax, get my mind ready to deal with active duty, and yeah. Mm. That's so good. The sauce is whoever made this sauce deserves a raise. Mm. It tastes good. Do y'all celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Obviously, I never did until I lived in California. And I know all the woke people are going to be like, why y'all celebrate Juneteenth like this? We just got to get there, sis. Why, why don't you kick it off? Why don't you kick it off? <laughs> yeah. Everybody posted vlogs of that. Like, my queue is packed. Everybody, so I guess Friday night, Friday evening is the new time to post vlogs. Because everybody, dang near, all the channels that I watch, post it tonight. Is Sunday not that girl anymore? I need to be editing editing a vlog, but I ain't even worried about it. I'll do it next week. Because uh, I got a vlog I need to edit. I'm filming a vlog now, but... Yeah, y'all don't care about that, do y'all? I know I got other content creators that watch this. Huh. Y'all get it. Mm-mm-mm. I'm sorry. I know I'm getting on somebody nervous. And these are a good size. Like, and it's crawfish season. Look at the crawfish. They, they got their peak. Mm. Oh, I was teaching my girl, my dad, girlfriend, how to eat these at the, um, we went to the hot pot. It was so funny. But we all had to learn. You got to learn. We all got to learn. I don't like my hair done. It's a quick weave. I'm going to tell you. That's all I'm wearing all summer. Cause baby, them um goddess locks. They took my edges. They took my edges. And I love them. Not, I'm not gonna blame that cycle of goddess locks, but get in the goddess locks, and then like before that, a little bit I had braids. Like my edges are hmm, I would be embarrassed to show y'all. But if you look at the video where I did the transformation. Sometimes when I be washing my hair, if I'm doing stuff, y'all can see them. But they, they are sparse. And I need to preserve the little I got left and figure out a way to grow them back. But I feel like edges something that just don't come back. I really do. I never seen anybody, like, legit grow their edges back. Tell you? 
And if you did, let me know. Because without getting those surgeries and stuff. But let me know. It pulled. Hmm. Huh. I thought I got oh. the potato skin was stuck behind my teeth. It pulled like one of the back ones, the very last one I had in the back right side. Pulled my hair out from the root. I have a ball spot there. Oh. So, quick weave it is. And I got the teeniest bit of leave out. But I purchased these bundles from. Amazon, three bundles and a closure. But when I got there, she was like, "You don't need the uh, closure." She said, "You, you got to, you should just do a little leave out." I said, "Okay." And it eats. And my edges are protected. Half my edges, I ain't gonna pull it back, but like my the the thing start back here. So like, if she ain't break my edges down tight, cause I told her like, "Girl, my edges is down." But this is going to be my style for the summer. And I'm mad. I think I forgot my bundles there. Because I don't think this is three bundles. This ain't three bundles. And of course I left the closure there. I'm going to text her. I know this ain't three bundles. But if y'all want the hair, I think I only paid $70 for it. And it was an 18 16 it was 18, 16, 14, and 12. It was a whole bundle thing for like $75. Now, this is just the first day now. Y'all check back in about two weeks. And if I still got it in, then you know it's some it's some hair you should buy for $70. Oh, I must have cut my finger. Oh, that was season now. But my fingers. But anyway, it'll be in my Amazon storefront. I'll link below. If you just want to see other stuff I buy from Amazon, go check out my stuff front. Give it a little heart. Purchase something if you like. It do help the channel. And then I can use them little coins, you know, to get seafood boils. <laughs> um, but yeah, Amazon. This is my style for the rest of the summer. I'm mad I'm going to have to pull it back for the next two weeks every day to go to damn play navy but it's all good and it only cost me $140 to get it done so I have a very inexpensive hairstyle that's why I gotta find out if I got more bundles left because oh oh no oh no I dropped a piece of crawfish and guess who right there he's licking the floor now but I got it up Licking a damn flow. Now he got his fix. Mm. But y'all know how you take acrylic off? Baby, my nails toe up. Toe up. And then I went to the nail shop yesterday. I will never go again when they about to close. I went at 6.30. They closed at 7.30. When I tell you I got the most mediocre pedicure for $70. $70. <clears throat> mediocre she ain't even try to like get the usually you know they try to get the little ingrown if you got one they dig all the stuff she didn't do that $70 for a half stone pedicure and it was mid the nails was only 35 so jail manicure and you know they charge you for the damn shape. All that stuff. But so me, but they serve uh wine and beer. So I had me two little flutes, a chardonnay. And I enjoy getting my nails done. But this one lady, oh my god. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm.
the lady to him beside me, I was in my pedicure, and I could tell when she came in that she was one of them worsen people when they go to the nail shop. Like, just being extra complaining and particular. So I already knew what time of time she was on. That, you know, people walk in just doing a lot at the nail shop and asking a lot of questions and just being like, you can tell they're being combative a little bit. So, that's how she came in. So I'm listening to an audio book. Shout out to Coley Cole for putting me on to the audio books on Spotify. Um, I'm just trying to listen to my audio book. Don't turn her out because when people be doing the most in public, I don't get, I don't let them know that they got my attention. But obviously, I'm watching them because what is you doing? Sit down and shut up. <laughs> people in here trying to relax. So, lo and behold. I was sitting down get my pedicure. Guess who they sit right beside me? Her ass. She sat there <clears throat> on the phone. She won't try to whisper. You know, usually if you're in a nail shop and you're on the phone, you be trying to be real quiet. Because the people is relaxing. People got their eyes closed. She talking in her regular tone like I'm talking now. On the phone. Everybody hear a conversation. Mm. I had to turn my audio book up. So I'm like, lady, shut up. I don't care about who got what on their report card. I don't care about none of that. Like, if she won't have no important call. She was literally on the phone and she's talking to her sister. Like, since that could have waited. You disturb everybody. Peace. Do y'all do that in public? I'm not one of the people. Like, when I know, like, it's supposed to be, like, a quiet area. And people relaxing. I'm not going to sit and yap my mouth at normal level. One, I don't like talking in public because I don't people in my business. Like, talking out loud on the phone. I'm like, girl. So she was kind of disrupting my piece. Then the lady was doing a mediocre pedicure. But I was listening to the audio book. It's called The Neighbor. The Neighbor Favor. It's so good. Thanks again, Coley Cole. I have been enjoying that book. It has been a good break from... Because usually when I'm at home, I'm editing, I'm watching vlogs, I'm watching reality TV, listening to music. But I have really haven't been into books like I would want to. And audiobooks is just a great little thing to do. At first I started listening to it every night when I get in bed. And then I just went in the car. I was just when I'm getting ready for work now. Because I'm so into the story. And I'm going to find me another one after that. Mm. Do that count as reading books? Well, obviously not. Because you're not reading. Y'all, he being so sweet. He is literally laying right here. By the chair. These are the moments when I'd be like, he's, that's a baby. You know, it's just a baby. Like I was telling Bernice today, she's a Leo like me. Um, Like, this is my season of learning patience. And this dog really been testing my patience. I'm trying to just be more patient. And just understand it like, he's a puppy. He's learning everything. Everything's new to him. And not take it personal, like, oh, he know I said that. He really did. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying. Oh, what was I saying? I forgot. No, this is so good. Mm. I got corn lodged in my teeth. This is my type of Friday, though. At first, I was like, well, I just got my hair done. I need to be seen, like. Somebody got to see this on the come up on the first night. I was telling my little boo that. And he laughed. But I like that he's not like a hater. You know, some men will be like, well, who you want to see you? Or, you know, that he just laughed and be like, he's secure with himself. Like, yeah. He was like, go ahead. I think he said it because he knew I won't go nowhere for real. <laughs> but he not. 
Oh, I thought the juice then went on the wall. So far, he has not gave me like he's a jealous type of person. You know, some men be your biggest hater, like when you're in a relationship. And he out of town today, but he'll be back tomorrow. To be my date for the wine fest. But yeah, what else? I got like two more left. Mm-hmm. If you made it this far, drop. Mm. Mm. These things are dangerous. Drop a... What kind of emoji do you want to do? A wine glass. If you made it this far. Drop a wine glass. A red juicy will do it every time. Got me eating the dang legs. The claws. I was seeing if they had blue crab on their menu. I ate some blue crabs raw before. I'm not going to do it again. Because when I eat blue crabs, I just like to chill. I want to have a good show on the TV. Have me a little Corona. And just tear it up. Mm. If I know they were going to make this sauce this good, I would have asked for an extra little container. Uh -uh. I ain't got nothing sweet. <clears throat> That's going to suck. I don't got nothing sweet. Mm. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Coley Cole was also the winner of the giveaway of the Yanni Best Satin Pillowcase. Because um, she followed the rules. And shout out to everybody else that answered. And actually did the stuff. But uh, Coley Cole was the winner. It was only one other person that did it. This one looked like he had a hard life. And the thing is... Sometimes, when you type giveaway, it get people that never been to your channel on the video. And maybe it's just, so like, if I've never seen you comment before, and all you did was comment on that giveaway video, but the person also followed the rules. So I was like, you know, maybe she a silent watcher, and like, she really saw something that she wanted. But, just, if I ain't never seen you... Make a comment. You know, you can type on a click on a person's name. You can see the comments or like if they hearted anything. You can see that. And when I do giveaways, I want it to be with like true supporters, people that watch my channel. And shout out to you, even if you still do watch the channel, but that was your first time commenting. But I just be a little wary of that because some people like that's they claim the fact that's all they do is go on YouTube and like search people doing giveaways and answer the giveaways. And you're not gonna get me. Let me stop. <laughs> I don't know if that person was doing that. But, yeah. So, that was easy to pick. Otherwise, I'd do like a random picker. But, when we hit 4K, I'm going to do another giveaway. Mm. I don't know what it might be. But, I'm going to do it. I think I've done a cash shop giveaway. I think most of my giveaways have been cash shop or Amazon gift card. I did Amazon gift card. So, it's going to be something good. But, I got to know that you've been here before I posted the giveaway. You know what I'm saying? So, if you just a silent watcher and you don't comment, just say hey. Because like I said, speak when you come to somebody's house. When you click on a video, say hey. And that's all you say. You know what I'm saying? But if I ain't never heard from you before, when we do the 4K giveaway, don't even bother answering because you're not, you're not going to win. Even if the random picker pick you, I'm going to pick somebody else. <laughs> and I can do that with my channel. But I'll let y'all know. We'll get it when we get there. 
I ate everything on this plate. Mm. And this wasn't on medium sauce. I feel a little spice. It's like, as soon as I say that, I feel like the sensation of heat in my mouth. I might try a hat one day. Does it go all the way up to extra hat? I might try a hat. I don't want to roll my seafood ball though. When I tell you this corn was cooked to perfection. Oh my god. Too good. It's this sauce. Oh my goodness. I just want another piece of corn or something. Just to finish this sauce. Mmm. Mm-mm. Just gluttony. Oh, I know that makes people mad. <laughs> but not on the mukbangs. People will be commenting stupid stuff on the shorts. Now, if you don't say nothing vulgar or stupid, I ain't gonna block you. I just put a little laughing thing. The laughing face because at the end of the day it's engagement so thanks i told it up cheers to the weekend i told it up that was a perfect amount i'm just so happy and satisfied right now i think i'm gonna clean up make me another little libation like me a little hookah Till about 10 o'clock or to the mukbang post. Maybe 10, 11. I'll go upstairs, take me a nice bath, get in them sheets, and go to sleep. I low-key could try to make an orange theory clap. Nah, I ain't sweating my hair out. But really, it's nothing to sweat. Um, I need to find something to wear for tomorrow. I think I know what I'm going to wear, though. But I didn't talk to y'all long enough. Y'all, I had a great time. I love doing a little mukbang because I just sit down and run my mouth. Like, and I don't, I don't feel like I'm talking to myself because I'm not. I'm talking to y'all. So, how is y'all doing? What y'all doing this weekend? Do y'all have Wine Fest? Where you at? Are you celebrating Cinco de Mayo? What's the tea? What's up for the weekend? Oh, my God. Follow me on Instagram, Nicole's World. And my TikTok, Nicole's World 757. If you want to see the weekend vibes. But, and it probably won't be on TikTok. It's probably going to be more on Instagram. This was good. I'll see you guys next time on the call.